hi guys i hope you're all doing good so in today's video i'm here i hope you can see me <laughs> yeah so in today's video we're going to make this tire we are going to not to make to yeah we're going to transform it to a seat to a tufted seat yeah, so keep watching to the end and make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you haven't and leave a sweet comment and share this video to your family and friends I'm going to use this fabric as you can see it's so smooth I love this color I love this jungle green it's jungle green in color so what I'm going to do is I want to staple it here but first I'm going to cut it like a circular not circular exactly but for it to fit this space here I'm going to remove a piece of it over here then do the stapling and you guys make sure you give this video a thumbs up okay and subscribe if you haven't join this amazing family and you will never get disappointed and this is the, the normal couch material you can get it at a at any shop near you. I don't know where exactly I can tell you, but uh, the specific place for those who are within Nairobi, they know where they, they can get it. This is what I was saying. Do you see the circular thing? So when I staple it here, it will be easy for me to work with it. So I'm going to turn it this way. I'm sorry that my space is too small, so I have to work with it just that. Actually, me everything you don't have, like 
small fake, no matter light, no matter what. Hey guys, you need to sponsor this girl. I'm beginning to, to turn it this way, to settle it on the right side. Just like this. Because it was kind of confusing me while on the other side. Guys, don't skip the ads, please, so that I can get to buy the lights, a good light, yeah, a good camera so that I can give you some quality, quality, quality videos. So I'm going to use my staple, and this staple you can, I'll leave the, where, i leave the, the link on where you can get this staple, so check description. So guys, if you want to try this, or if you're going to try this to make this this um uh, couch, or um, how can I call it? Give it any name? Yeah. So if you're going to make it, kindly don't start drilling the the pieces of wood, the ones which you will be used uh, uh to lean on. Don't start with them, with those ones. Just mark where you're going to start to drill them. Then, uh, stick your forms do the tufting and everything then lastly come uh, go ahead and uh, and drill the pieces of wood at the back that will be easy yeah doing that because oh my god i it was so hard for me working like stapling the way i did the stapling then pushing the the form yeah in between it was so hard for me but if you do what i'm telling you like start working on it then drill the pieces uh the pieces at uh after you are done with the tufting that will be easy 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 for you and you'll take less time yeah you'll take less time doing that yeah because um i, I didn't like how the the fabric was so bulky while i was doing the tufting but i managed to work on it well but for you guys uh, for you to make your work a uh, very easy and all that just use the process which i'm telling you starts with this tufting and all that then after there go ahead and drill the pieces of wood yeah i think that one will be easy yeah so i'm putting this uh, piece of foam to make everything uniform at the front then continue with the rest yeah so i hope you're enjoying this uh, video and please, if you do, kindly give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, share to your family and friends and help me um, share, 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 share. As I was telling you guys, I managed to work on it because I was pulling it and it worked. Yeah, the fabric wasn't that bulky. Yeah, and when it comes to this part, uh, the staples were not working. They were not working. They were The staples didn't work well. So I decided to go ahead and use uh, some screws and um, some screws and washer. 
yeah i don't know if you know the, about the washers the ones which uh, helps the screw not to just pass through the fabric yeah so i use those ones because i guess they're tired into a, they um, couldn't uh, hold the the staples yeah so i went ahead and screw the whole of this part yeah i screwed it the whole of it and yeah it wasn't that uh much work if i can say yeah it wasn't that much work because uh, drilling is just uh, an easy job just like um stapling it down yeah so it it was just a very fast for me to do that yes um and if you're watching up to this far kindly give this video a thumbs up please share to your family and friends yes so here i also did the same i stapled it i stapled the fabric you see what i was telling you now yeah so if you if you decide to work on the uh, the bottom part it will be easy for you because you will just uh, use this take this material and staple it uh, at the back then uh, drill everything drill the the pieces of wood yeah that's what i was trying to say yeah so also this isn't uh, um it didn't take time it didn't take long so i just stapled the fabric then i just used the same process which i used to um, did uh which I use on the bottom part. I don't know if you can, <laughs> you do understand me. Sorry, yeah, uh, sorry if you don't. But I know you get to understand while watching. That's the main part. Yeah, you understand while while watching. Yeah, and I'm stapling everything down. Yeah, so that it will be strong and uh, it will be held nicely. Then go ahead do the the tufting make the holes uh, do the tufting and that's it it's coming through have a look at that i hope you are enjoying watching this video and if you do kindly just show some love just show your girl some love by giving this video a thumbs up please don't skip the ads please don't skip the ads your girl needs to buy a ring light yeah, so don't skip the ads and move to a bigger place because this place is so so it's too small for me yeah and uh, i know you can't see like the you you need to see while i'm working on this thing you need to see it uh, you, you you need to see the big picture of it yeah but since the space is too small that's why you uh, you can see um, you can just see a small small parts like you can't see the whole of it but I know you can see the main details <laughs> the important thing is for you to understand and i know you do understand by watching it this way but please don't skip the ads don't skip them
guys here i'm just showing you how you can just work alone you don't need a helping hand yeah so i'm just using my hot glue uh, to help me hold the tires on the wood before drilling them just as simple as that so keep watching and see how easy it is to work alone yeah so this this is this is the next day by the way uh, i was doing the final i was just finalizing on this uh this is today i am just finalizing on this then i post it right away so i hope you will show some love by just giving this video a thumbs up leave a sweet comment and don't skip the ads And here is my final look, guys. Look at that. Look at the details. Look at the neatness on this work. Yeah, and it is. It can just turn because of the because of the tires. Yeah, the reason and why I did put them it's because this tire was very heavy. So uh, having them here, it is easy. It is movable yeah to make it easy to move from one place to another and you can have it in your sitting area in your balcony anywhere you feel like having it and it has this big pillow which i did make it for it and look at that how is it tell me in the comment section if you do like it kindly give it a thumbs up until next time, hugs and kisses from Christine. Mm. And guys, please don't forget to check on Leeds Furniture on on uh, Instagram because they do amazing, amazing, amazing job on furniture. So kindly check them out for such kind of of furnitures. I know this is not a furniture exactly, but for such kind of things and many more, you can get them from Leeds Furniture. So check them out. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. And if you are, please consider giving, t giving it a thumbs up and leave a sweet comment. And make sure you share it to your family and friends. Bye-bye.